Hello YouTube. Okay, so today I would like to cover the golden ratio multiplier. I refer to the article by Philip Swift at uh, Positive Crypto. Um, the article is on this particular website, uh, medium.com. I'll place the link to that, to this uh, article on the description of this uh, video. So I find this article relatively or very interesting uh, because it helps to determine the peak of the bull cycle towards the end of uh, the bull cycles. It has been relatively been accurate. So let's dive into it. Now, in the article, uh, it's pretty long and technical, but I'll just go into the crisps of the the important points of this article. Firstly, the article wants the article. The author highlights that the moving average, the day moving average, 350 day moving average of the Bitcoin's price, is something that we need to first highlight. And this moving average, it plays on the long term chart for Bitcoin. It looks like this, this yellow line that you see below and above the Bitcoin price uh, action. Now, why it is why it needs to be highlighted is because um, apparently when Bitcoin goes into a bull market, the price action is above the 250 day moving average. Whereas when Bitcoin goes into a long-term bear market cycle, then it will the price action for Bitcoin will be below the 30-day moving average. This has been very accurate uh, since the beginning of uh, Bitcoin in 2010. So that's how the case is. So we can, as you can see in this chart here. Um, from 2011 to this particular day here, it's bull, then bear, then bull, then we have the bear cycle of 2014, then once the price goes up above it, it has been the bull cycle, and then somewhere in mid of 2018, we have the death cross, and that's where we went into the bear cycle. We just um, broke above the 30 day moving average currently we are still above it so this could be an indication that we are in the early months of the coming bull cycle okay so we need to first highlight this 330 day moving average next uh, as highlighted on the article is the fibonacci sequence now this fibonacci sequence is a natural occurring sequence in in life generally there is a unconscious uh, effort made by herd mentality to one way or another follow this this a uh, natural sequence um, we could even refer it to um, to leaves uh, or even ferns you know that grow in this natural sequence Probably I can just quickly uh, show you. So you see here, these um, are spirals in nature that actually more or less follow the Fibonacci uh, spiral. Okay, so something interesting worth noting. And um, so the sequence works in such a way that we first start off with one and then um, of course after one we got to have another number and which is one now the number that follows after that would be the summation of the previous two numbers so you have one plus one you get two then after that will be one plus two will be three and then two plus three will be five three plus five be eight five plus eight is thirteen eight plus thirteen will be twenty one and this sequence uh, continues so it's a natural occurring sequence and 
not surprisingly, when it comes to herd mentality, including trading, there is somehow a natural, um, unconscious effort by the herd mentality to follow this sequence. Okay, so something worth um, taking note of. Now, further down the the article, the author also states that besides the 350 day moving average, it has been noted that the 350 day moving average multiplied by the 1.6 which is the green line as you can see here placed on the long term Bitcoin price chart it this particular 1.6 times of 350 DMA actually acts as a natural a natural resistance as Bitcoin goes into a bull market and it acts as a support if it goes into a yeah as you can see here uh, in this as Bitcoin goes into bull market there is some resistance here and and in sometimes it acts as a a resistance when it comes into a bear market okay as you can see here so this is another layer that we need to take note of um, if coincidentally uh, as we are now uh, in October of 2019 we are currently in this uh, range within we are now falling within this range above the 350 day moving average but we are dangling before the resistance of the 1.6 times 350 day moving average okay now the if we are to follow the Fibonacci sequence 1 2 3 5 8 13 and 21 we could create all these layers uh, as we see here uh, the different layers okay there are more layers here and and if we are to look back in history something surprisingly uh, interesting to take note of is that these layers, these Fibonacci layers of that 300 day moving average appear to be defining the peaks of the previous bull markets. So here's a list. You have the 350 day moving average multiplied by 21 actually gave the 2011 top. That's what you see here. Okay and the 350 DMA times 13 will give you the 2013 top that's here and whereas the times 8 will give you the 2014 peak which is somewhere here okay it's actually before 2014 and the peak that we went through recently which was the 2018 peak was actually the 350 DMA times five okay so the peaks seem to be following the Fibonacci sequence but downwards so if we are to apply this uh, trajectory then it may be interesting to state that the next peak that we will that we will go through probably in the year 2021 or 2022 um, but that peak will be 350 day moving average times three okay uh, that's the purple line um, besides this article uh, i also refer to the on the same topic the golden ratio multiplier but on digital ik.net um, similarly on this bitcoin live bitcoin price chart is stretched back uh, many years and uh, it also states the different Fibonacci layers of that 350 day moving average so uh, it's clearer here so the last peak that we got in 2018 uh, this actually just exceeded the five times uh, moving average at that is uh, the brown one which is 
which is close to yeah nineteen thousand dollars. Okay, and the, the next peak that we have to look out for um, is when price would exceed the three times. 350 day moving average which is the the blue line here okay so it's actually this blue line of course as price goes up over the months the entire band will also be moving up like what you see back here in 2016 the band, entire band will, will go up but it's only when the price exceeds that blue graph here it's something that we need to take note of that um, possibly the bull market is coming to an end okay so this is a very interesting uh, analysis of the golden ratio multiplier um, what do you think what uh, do you think that this is a a accurate projection of um, the where the peak of Bitcoin price will be heading towards the end of the coming bull cycle. Please share your thoughts uh, at the comments below. Again, if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Before I go, I just want to let you know that I do conduct live seminars and online webinars regarding Bitcoin basics and the blockchain. In my seminars, I do also introduce mining co-location service provider Dunamis Global Tech, which we as miners could possibly make 100% or more annually. I have been mining with Dunamis Global Tech since its official inception. It is transparent, safe and reliable. The reason it is transparent is because Dunamis is a registered and regulated co-location company with the Arizona State Government in the United States. It does not sell mining contracts as per se, but rather high-capacity security mining space. Therefore, our mining machines, the co-location service, and the low electrical fees of 5 cents per kilowatt hour is charged separately. With the low electrical fees of 5 cents per kilowatt hour and the affordable co-location service, it is then possible for us to gain high returns consistently. I encourage you to attend my seminars and webinars to explore this fantastic golden opportunity. The link to the seminar and the webinar schedules are shown in the description below. I hope you have enjoyed this video report. Please go ahead to punch the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. Until the next video, continue hodling and mining. Do have a fantastic week ahead. Goodbye.